Hardlight is an exotic auto rifle obtained from exotic engrams. Its intrinsic perk, Volatile Light, causes rounds fired from the weapon to have no damage fall off, overpenetrate targets, and ricochet off hard surfaces. Projectile damage will also increase after a bounce. The second perk, the Fundamentals, will allow you to cycle between solar, arc, and void elements by holding reload. I need to take a brief moment to let everyone know that this video has been a long time coming. Like, a really long time. In Destiny 1, I reviewed it at least three or four times as the game or it got updated. I always noted that the screen shake had been the one thing stopping me from using it. In Destiny 2, I was pretty disappointed about the screen shake returning to the weapon. Here's a little clip from that old review. Hardlight has failed to deliver for three years and will continue to do so in Destiny 2 as long as this one issue isn't addressed. So yeah... Long, nearly six-year story short, the weapon has had even more changes, like the ricochet bouncing doing even more damage and bouncing more, more stability, a catalyst added to it, and the crowning cherry on top is that the screen shake has been removed in its entirety. Please allow me a brief moment of unprofessional celebration. <sighs> So, how does the weapon perform now that the screen shake has been removed? Well, if the sudden jump in impromptu light shows and all activities is an indicator, it's pretty good. Popular enough that it's now one of the top weapons used in the game. The combination of high stability, no fall-off damage, extra damage, ricochet rounds over, penetrating rounds, and elemental selection is, suffice to say, stacked. As I am reminded of Ace of Spades when Forsaken launched and how it was a hand cannon with basically every single perk you would ever want on a hand cannon, Hardlight is basically the auto rifle equivalent of that. Hardlight is basically everything you want in an auto rifle for PvE. You can swap between elements to shred every single elemental shield. You never have to worry about engagement distances since your damage will always be maximum. If there are a group of enemies clumped up, chances are the overpenetrating rounds will help manage them. If your positioning is good, you can even get some extra damage via the ricochet rounds. The high magazine size means you can keep all of this up for way longer than some of the other options out there. It's high handling and reload stats also make those tasks an almost non-factor. It even has a catalyst that increases the aim assist and maxes out the stability. About the only bad things I can say about this weapon in PvE is that it cannot combat champion mechanics, but that's not unique to any exotic by any means. If you really want to get picky, I guess it's kind of annoying that it doesn't remember what element you have selected on it when you die, so if you're working on a particular bounty or pursuit that requires elemental kills, you have to remember to swap to it the correct element. And and I know that really tips the scale into the territory of unusable. So if you've stepped foot into a PvP match since Season 10 started, then you probably have seen the wonderful light display from this gun. Auto rifles as a whole got buffed, so you're definitely seeing more of those in general, but hard light definitely will get noticed a bit more. I don't want to repeat myself on each point, so the TLDR of it is that everything good about hard light in PvE basically directly translates into PvP. If anything, PvP is the one place that you can really see ricochet rounds have some sort of benefit. Since the ricochet shots deal double damage, you're highly encouraged to just keep spraying down a corridor or hallway that someone retreated into. Chances are you can land a round or two and secure a kill. One of the things that people kind of laughed at before the screen shake got removed was someone spraying down a hallway trying to get ricochet damage. You knew that once you actually got into their sights, chances are they couldn't land reliable damage on you anyway, and you could just win one-on-one -on -one duels easily. Now, it's kind of the opposite. I can't count the number of times I've been pinned down in a corner somewhere trying to pray to the gods of geometry that the ricochet shots avoid me until I'm full health. Suffice to say, Hardlight is an absolutely incredible weapon right now. It has virtually zero downside and is absolutely worth the exotic slot in every single activity. So, I need to take a brief moment here and say that Hardlight is probably going to get nerfed. This gun has had everything but the kitchen sink thrown at it to make it usable over the years. And now that the one thing that kept people from using it has been fixed, well, people are obviously going to flock to it. 
I genuinely will not be surprised if the damage increase from ricochet rounds gets reduced, or some form of screen shake gets added back in, or damage fall off is added. As it stands right now, you are hard pressed to not use hard light unless you are doing some activity with champions. The versatility of having every single elemental damage type stapled to a weapon with no damage fall off and easy to control recoil is a hard thing to pass up. I know this wasn't really up to the quality of my normal reviews, so I'm going to apologize for that. This hasn't really been a review as much as it's been a glowing recommendation to employ its kit into your loadout. After reviewing this gun for nearly six years, I feel like I've just run out of things to say about it. I'm just glad that I can finally say the screen shake is gone. Also, that, you know, I can use it. If you enjoyed this video, a positive rating would be appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.